I make quite an impression. 30 facts to be exact. Hello there starfish enthusiasts, my name is Ryder CX and welcome to today's video where today we're finally gonna talk about the long awaited Patrick Star game. So it is finally revealed to us, it got leaked on a retailer's site a few weeks ago and I was starting to think that it might have actually been delayed honestly because the game was supposed to be coming out very very soon but there was no word there was no word whatsoever that it was coming and so during yesterday's nintendo partner direct there was a first look at the patrick star game from outright games and not only was there's this little piece of footage that was in the direct but it was also a separate review trailer that came from outright games afterwards and so i scoured through both of these trailers i looked at the website i looked for any sort of like remaining articles that might have had something else in there and i have 30 total facts about the Patrick Star game to share with you all right now. There's a lot of stuff here because every time I look at this footage, I feel like I pick up on something new. So there's definitely stuff I even missed. There's just a lot that was reviewed in this game. And I'm personally just very, very interested in this because looking at the gameplay and looking at what's there to do and looking at all the different references to the show in particular, this actually looks like it could be pretty good in my honest opinion. And so I might make a follow-up video just with some more overall thoughts about the game. But I mean, it is coming very soon. So let's not waste time. Let's Let's get into all 30 facts and really dive into what this game is going to be offering. So number one, I'm going to start with the review trailer. So all these upcoming facts will be for this trailer specifically. But you can see over here that as we're zooming into Con Street, on the top of SpongeBob's pineapple, there's this little jar over here. Now the first thing I thought about for some reason was like peanut butter. I don't know. That's just like the thing that came to my mind. But then I read in like a description on the website that Patrick could use like mayonnaise. And I'm like, of course it's mayonnaise. Like what else could it have been so I'm pretty certain that this is a jar of mayonnaise over here as some kind of collectible that Patrick can collect what the role of it is I'm not really sure yet but nonetheless it is here and number two you can see that Patrick it kind of looks like he's riding jellyfish here or he could be rolling down the road and just having jellyfish attached to him but something that's really like interesting is like why are these jellyfish yellow and is this actually some sort of transportation that you can use to get through the game because a lot of the game's market Marketing so far is focusing on this being a very physics based game. A lot of people have actually akin this to a goat simulator starring Patrick Starr, which is a very fascinating like concept I have to say. So I definitely can see that from the gameplay so far, but I'm a little bit confused as to what's happening here. And number three, this is something I thought was really random, but did you notice that there's King Jellyfish right over here? This game has really given me a lot of rehydrated vibes in particular, way more than Cosmic Shake vibes. It seems like a lot of the assets here might have even been carried over from rehydrated or carried over and then just adjusted because the game really does give me that glossy colorful saturated feel of rehydrated over here and it looks pretty good you know not as good as rehydrated but still pretty good and number four you see we have patrick over here using a hammer to smash through things and this reminds me of like that power up from true for square when if you went to get the patrick power up with spongebob then patrick would pop into the game and then he would just start smashing things everywhere using spongebob SpongeBob is a hammer. So now we have Patrick just using a regular hammer to smash through things. So this is pretty cool. And number five, well, <laughs> that kid got hit in the head of a coconut. Sorry, I really had to do that. But in this part over here, I guess Patrick has another power up where he's able to like shoot coconuts at various things. So if there's something I'm really gathering from this game so far is that they're letting Patrick do a lot of different things in this game. And it really does seem like a big variety pack of things. So I'm very interested in seeing what context this is being used in. Number six, this is definitely one of the more like physics based things I've actually seen, but it looks like over here that Patrick can utilize a magnet to attract objects like this car and he can use that car to wreak havoc across like Bikini Bottom. So you can see that Patrick is basically demolishing this outdoors art class, I guess is what this is. And so definitely can see some of the physics based fun that they're talking about here. Number seven, this really does remind me of the cartwheel move in the movie game. As you can see, Patrick is rolling side to side and just like traversing through the environment very, very quickly. If there's something that I am going to notice about this game as we go through all these facts, this game does pull a lot of things from a lot of older SpongeBob games. So I don't know, maybe they did their research or maybe this is all just spontaneously from the developer, who knows? But it's nice to see a lot of things that seemingly reference old things from previous SpongeBob games. And number eight, so this is like a brand
brand new like portion that I don't think we've ever seen in a Spongebob game before, except maybe the Sonic Wave guitar missions in a movie game where you're as Patrick, you're launched into the air and use a parachute to fly throughout the sky and go do hoops. Sandy can also be heard speaking here, so maybe this is something she instructs you through. As in the last video I made about the Patrick Star game, that retail listing did mention that like various Spongebob characters would take you through certain kinds of missions, and maybe these are one of the kind of missions that Sandy can take you through. Number 9, this is absolutely disgusting to me, but it does fit Patrick to a T I guess, but Patrick can burp as well and it seems to have a pretty physically damaging effect over here, so I guess that's just one of his attacks. At number 10, you can see that Patrick seems to be running through the Fry Cook Games arena over here, and so I believe someone in my last video commented that in the box art they could spot the Fry Cook Games and it looks like this is confirmation that the Fry Cook Games arena is going to be making an appearance here. At number 11, in the Fry Cook Games arena, Patrick can also be seen switching between a bunch of different costumes and so here are some of the first costumes that we got to see. We got Patrick in his glove world outfit, we got the elastic waistband outfit, and we have his band geeks outfit, and of course Barnacle Boy. And so outfits and costumes are always a very fun thing to bring to a Spongebob game, especially because you can reference so many older episodes of it. So this is really cool to see. At number 12, you can see Patrick is bouncing on the trampoline over here and playing basketball. So again, this is telling me that there's a lot of variety in this game. It definitely does seem to be that open world like sandbox kind of game where you can go and do a bunch of different things. It's going to be very interesting to see if there's any structure to this game because so far it's seeming like you can just go around and do whatever you want which can be fun, but a little structure, a little progression might be nice too. And number 13, I'm kind of confused about this part, but it looks like Patrick is working at the Krusty Krab, but he seems to be spraying mustard on like everything, or could this be paint? I do see this part over here where it seems like customers are lining up for food, so it definitely seems like you're playing some sort of mini game like an outdoor kitchen. Um, I'd be really curious to see more of this. And number 14, this is definitely something I was not expecting, but you can play pinball using Patrick as the actual pinball over here. I'm definitely getting Sonic the Hedgehog vibes with this, and he's doing pinball ball on a pirate ship. Again, so much variety, so many different things you could do in this game. It definitely seems very loaded. At number 15, this seems to be another game where he's able to travel across the dump hunting for treasure and then he would ride hooks to collect that treasure afterwards. At number 16, he can be seen drawing objects over here. Way more than just watermelon from the previous games. So this looks pretty cool, especially because it looks like Patrick is drawing this like bathroom stall that has Fred, the guy who screams my leg in there because you can hear Fred screaming my leg like repeatedly in this section. Um, that could get annoying if they're not careful with it. At number 17, I want to remind you all that this game does come out on October 4th, so that's in a little over a month at this point. And we've also got it coming out on the Nintendo Switch, the PS4 slash PS5, Steam, and of course the Xbox Series X. At number 18, I went to the Outright Games website for this game, and it has some screenshots that weren't shown off over here, and it shows a few more different details I want to mention. So one screenshot has Patrick at what seems to be like an air show there seems to be a bunch of different like plane models over here so i wonder if this is a precursor to that mini game where patrick is torpedo into the air and flowing through the rings the second section is of glove world over here which looks absolutely gorgeous another screenshot over here shows patrick in his home and watching tv and since when did Patrick have a rug? I think he's always had a couch, but I don't recall him ever having a rug, but that might just be me. This screenshot over here has Patrick in the Fry Cook Games, and I'm assuming from what I can tell that you're doing the type of food at the fish depending on what they're asking for according to those signs that they're holding up. This screenshot over here shows Patrick driving a boat with a very concerned fish at the side, and then this screenshot seems to be a shot of him treasure hunting in the dump. At number 19, there's also a couple of anime GIFs over here that actually show off some interesting details and so this one gif over here shows off the different characters and what they look like in the cutscenes and so again I'm getting really big rehydrated vibes although the models do look slightly different so it's not quite rehydrated but it definitely has like a similar style to them and just slightly altered for some reason they don't seem to have like the most expressions especially compared to cosmic shake which had great character expressions but it still looks pretty good at number 20 there's another gif that shows off way more costumes that Patrick can wear and so in 
this GIF, you can see that he has that one costume where he has like the plank of woods nailed to his head. There's also Hot Rod Patrick, the Gorilla Man suit, the Goofy Goober Patrick. There's also Patrick Man. I didn't like this episode to be honest. There's Captain Patrick and also the King Patrick. And so lots of references to both old episodes and newer episodes too. This game is doing a really good job at showcasing a ton of different references with Patrick. I have to say they're doing a fantastic job at that. And number 21, there's another GIF over here showing Patrick doing objects in various locations, including the Fry Cook games. And so this looks very, very interesting. It seems like Patrick can draw almost anything actually, which definitely will create for some very zany fun. And number 22, I actually got this out of Outright Games' Twitter. So there was a user that asked if there would be Italian dubbing and Outright Games confirmed that there would be Italian dubbing. And so most SpongeBob games have different languages that you can select to have dubs play. And so I imagine that this game will be no different, especially since you can tell in the footage that the voice actors are confirmed for the English version at least. And so I imagine there will be other languages in this game beyond Italian. At number 23, I'm going to go ahead and reference the footage that we got in Nintendo Direct now. And so you can see over here that Patrick's able to ride on the seahorse, which is referencing that iconic first season episode where SpongeBob goes into dreams. Again, this, ga this game is doing absolutely amazing when it comes to references. There are so many stuffed into these two or three minutes of footage here that I'm actually pretty impressed. At number 24, Patrick has another mechanic over here where he's riding in this little ball and it kind of reminds me of like a little monkey ball like situation where Patrick's able to just roll in a ball across the environment. So I'm very curious to see under what context you'll be using this. At number 15, so I might be questioning my previous bullet point about the cartwheel because now you can see over here that Patrick can actually roll in the sand of a sandbox and you can see that he's doing this on the pavement as well and it seems like this might actually be what I thought the cartwheel was. So I don't know, we'll have to see for sure once we get more footage. At number 26, you can see that Patrick is actually diving downwards over here. So this might be a different version of that mini game we saw before where he's flying through the hoops. So now Patrick is just like floating down and he's supposed to avoid like all the obstacles and things like that. At number 27, remember when I talked about that hammer where Patrick's like destroying everything? So this is confirmed to be Mrs. Puff's rage room, which was mentioned in the description of this game in the retail listing when it was leaked. And so seems like this would just be a little area where Patrick's able to just destroy tons and tons of things. And I wonder how that's going to go in terms of how they'll score you and all that stuff. Number 28, I found this reference to be really, really awesome. But with Patrick, you can get a pie, eat it, and then it will explode Patrick and launch him into the air. And so that is obviously a reference to the Dying for Pie episode where Squidward gives SpongeBob a pie. At least he thinks he gave SpongeBob a pie. That'll explode him into a million pieces. And well, Patrick is going to get to get in on the fun as well. At number 29, you can see that Patrick is painting a bunch of things around the town over here. And so I'm really curious to see how this will impact impact the gameplay like if you paint like the wrong things does that like cause any consequences like I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out and number 30 you can see that Squidward over here is kind of like dancing and I'm wondering if this is teasing some sort of mini game that Squidward would be hosting where maybe it's like a rhythm mini game or maybe it's something else but I mean this game definitely seems like a big variety pack in terms of like how many things can you make Patrick do and so there's a lot of stuff we've already seen just based off of these two to three minutes of footage and we all know that Squidward is mentioned multiple times as a significant character in this game as well. So he's probably going to have some sort of mini game that Patrick can play and I would bet on it being some sort of rhythm or music related game.人でのパトリック。このゲーム決まった目的はなく何をするにも自由。スカイダイビングやボートで競い合うのも良し。いろいろなものを破壊することも。何が起きるかはプレイヤー次第。スポンジボブパトリックスターゲームは10月4日配信
But all right, y'all, that is 30 facts about this game that I got so far from the footage. Obviously, I did not get every single detail you could possibly list over here. So if there's anything that you saw in this footage or anywhere else that I missed, then let me know in the comment section. And then we can have like a really fun time just discussing all of it. But I gotta say overall, I was a little hesitant about this game or at least a little skeptical because outright games, they don't really have the best output. I did play some of their games a while back when I did like sponsorships for them. And I didn't really like the troll hunt game that much to be honest i had to say that like in the video so that's great but there was also a ben 10 game that i played that actually this reminds me a lot of because that was also like an open world game it wasn't as physics based i guess so it doesn't really have that aspect in there but i will say the open world feel of that ben 10 game was actually pretty nice and so i am cautiously optimistic i think that this game looks fun and if anything might just be a fun little distraction to tide us over into the next spongebob game so hopefully when this game comes out it actually is decent and people have a lot of fun with it and if there's any like online capabilities i could totally imagine there being like a real nice online community to this because if you just are able to go to like an online hub where you have all these different patricks going around doing a bunch of random shit like that could be a lot of fun i don't know if they mentioned online being a thing in this game or not but that would be a really nice direction to go into but let me know your thoughts about this game in the comment section below are y'all excited for it are y'all concerned for it let me know your thoughts and be sure to subscribe to this channel because i'll definitely be talking more about this game as we get closer to release i'll definitely play it i'll even stream it probably and just uh yeah thank you all so much this is riders riding out